I want to show you a pair of tools related to zooming in the Visual Studio 2010 editor. Zoom editor margin and presentation zoom. You can get them both from visualstudiogallery.com. Just look for free tools for Visual Studio 2010, then search on zoom. And they work very nicely together. So why don't I start by demonstrating them to you. Here we have Visual Studio as it comes, sort of out of the box. And uh, you may not have been aware that there's a little drop down here in the corner that controls how you're zooming here in the editor. So I can zoom into 150%. This is great if I suddenly got someone over my shoulder and I need to have a bigger font for them. Uh, so that because their head's a little further, uh, they won't be able to see. Obviously, I need to do something about you know, adjusting the size of windows. Maybe I'd rather go down to something a little bit smaller where I can almost read this and I can certainly follow the shape of it and it can help me you know, to navigate more quickly and get to where I want to in the file. The issue is that we don't have a ton of granularity in here. We sort of have these choices offered to us. Now, you can type things. So, you know, if you wanted to have a 63% zoom, you could. And uh, a little un not very well-known shortcut is that you just type 1. Um, it will sort of auto-complete that out to 100, which is almost certainly uh, what you wanted. But these two little extensions that I want to show you uh, make this just a little simpler. So first we will we'll enable the zoom editor margin. And restart Visual Studio to let that take effect. And what this extension does is it puts this slider down here, which simply adjusts your zoom level as you scroll it and gives you sort of ability to say oh that's too big I'm not seeing enough of it yeah I can still read that I can say oh geez I can't read that and sort of adjust and you come out with maybe a slightly wonky zoom level that you might not have found as easy to get to by uh, fiddling uh, with this slider but there's another part to this story I've set my zoom to 70% in this particular uh, file. Okay, now I'm going to open you know, another file. It's zoomed at 100%. If I'm giving a presentation and the reason that I've got my zoom set you know, up nice and big is so that everyone who's listening to my talk or watching my screencast can read everything, I'm going to want to have that same zoom level in all of my files at once it's pretty unusual to say yes I would like this file to be at 147 percent but this file to be at 70 percent that doesn't really make a lot of sense so it's more likely that you'd like to be able to set one kind of global zoom level and that's the other extension that I want to show you again I'll go into the extension manager it's called presentation zoom and I'm going to enable that extension and restart again Now with presentation zoom, if I zoom this file to 168% for whatever reason I might want to do that and then come over here, this file is also at 168%. If I bring this guy down to 91%, this guy is also at 91%. So they just stay synced at whatever zoom level I have chosen. Whether it's with the slider or with the drop down uh, here, it doesn't matter. And we have that consistency from file to file. If you have a need to uh, have different files at different zoom levels, then you know you could always disable this extension. But for me, being able to zoom into an amount that's comfortable for my eyes and have it stay that way from file to file, it's a really nice addition. And being able to play around with exactly how much I zoom and choose a, an amount that's comfortable for me at this minute is also a really nice addition. So between the two of these, zoom editor margin and presentation zoom, it really makes zooming something simple and easy to do so that you can zoom out to get a quick picture of the structure of a file or to rearrange uh, your dragging functions up to the top or down to the bottom so that they're together and you can zoom in just whenever it's a little harder to read because you're further from the screen because someone's over your shoulder or even just because it's getting to the end of a really long day and your eyes are starting to burn for whatever reason you should zoom more and these two extensions combined with the WPF workhorse at the heart of the Visual Studio 2010 editor make it a very simple and natural thing to zoom more.